Welcome guys to this session of the Residency Explorer series where we will be discussing about anesthesiology. Let's start with what does a person in anesthesia do and how relevant or important this branch is. Anesthesia is a branch that involves total perioperative care of the patients which means before the surgery, during the surgery and even after the surgery. Apart from anesthetizing a patient in the OT or giving anesthesia to a patient, the branch also involves intensive care, critical care, pain management and emergency medicine and CPR. Anesthesiologists work with wide range of specialties, general surgery, ops gynae, orthopedics, ENT of that, and also with super specialty, urology, neurosurgery, cardiac surgery, plastic, pediatric, GI, onco, transplant. Apart from working with these surgical branches and in the ICU, anesthesiologists are also needed and required during radiotherapy, interventional cardiology, and radiological procedures. Hence, in any hospital, anesthesiologists are well exposed to wide range of specialties and they work along with them. So in general, anesthesiologists are well read, they have a good understanding of uh, physiology and pharmac, and they are well respected in the hospital. Because of the specific skill sets, their good knowledge, and quick reflexes, they are looked upon as emergency respondents and they are always called in case of emergency or difficult situations. In fact, anesthesiologists are always in demand in the hospital and are to go to person in case of an emergency situation, namely during intubation, IV, cannulation, CPR. Next, I would like to clarify that unlike the misconception that anesthesia is a pre or a paraclinical branch. Remember, anesthesiology is a very much a clinical branch. We do lots of procedures and interventions, right from giving spinal, epidural, regional blocks, to intubating a patient, LMA insertion for GA, tracheostomy in the ICU, IV line cannulation, central line, arterial line. Apart from procedures, interventions, we are also using drugs all the while in the OT to anesthetize the patient, maintenance of the intraoperative hemodynamics, and during the post-op period, post-op management, the drugs and medicines are also used in the ICU, right? So therefore, anesthesiologists are directly involved with the active management of the patient and hence, it is very relevant as a proper clinical branch. Next point, this is regarding patient interaction. We just discussed right now that day in and day out, we are working in the OT, right? We are working in the ICU. So we are directly in contact with the patient and there is patient interaction. But what is lacking is the patient's relatives interaction. Other clinical specialties, the OPD branches interact a lot with the patient's relatives and we do not interact with the patient's relatives so much. Hence, there is less awareness about anesthesiology in general public. This leads to less credit being given to anesthesiology, which is one of the negative points about taking this branch. Another negative point, which is not, but people say call it a negative branch, uh, negative point about this branch is that it's a dependent branch. But the same thing is true for radio, but no one regards that as a negative point for radiology, right? Coming back to being a dependent branch, if this branch is dependent on surgical specialties, similarly, surgical specialties need anesthesia to perform a surgery, right? So no surgery can take place without anesthesia. That's the point, okay? Talking about the residency programs and how hectic it is. The residency programs in anesthesia are basically three-year courses, MD, DNB, and the two-year diploma, DNB, and the CPS courses. Regarding the residency program, is it cool like derma or radiology? No. Is it busy as surgery ortho ops gynae? No. There's an optimal balance which is maintained throughout the course. Okay, you get time for yourself and you'll be happy. That's for sure. The work starts in the OT before the surgery starts. It continues throughout the surgery and also involves the post-operative period in the recovery room or in the ICU with critical care management. There is always a PAC clinic also, which is sort of OPD, where we do a pre-operative assessment of the patients before the surgery. That also is a part of the work. In the OT, every day, the work involves hands-on experience. There are lots of interventions and procedures we do, as I said. The academics and case discussions continue in the OT itself while being on the case. Now, there are ICU rounds that take place, which has its own discussions and bedside learning. So within four to five months, you will start managing cases on your own, of course, under supervision, but this will give you a lot of confidence. Anesthesia has an easy learning curve and the branch is less toxic compared to other branches during the post-graduation. Let me add, most of the seniors in anesthesiology are wonderful and they are very caring. This is true all throughout the country and whether you're working in a government hospital or in a private hospital. In fact, on a lighter note, uh, you can expect caring seniors who offer you tea and snacks, lunch and dinner, unlike other branches where you're kept nil per oral, NPO, the whole day and with lots of work, okay? And loads of work they've been given to you. Regarding super specialization, 
सो सुपर स्पेशलिटी इज बेसिकली थ्री ईयर डी एम कोर्सेज अवेलेबल इन क्रिटिकल केयर पेन एंड ऑनको एनस्थीजिया पेन मैनेजमेंट न्यूरो एनस्थीजिया कार्डक एनस्थीजिया पीडियाट्रिक एनस्थीजिया देर ऑल्सो वन टू टू ईयर फेलोशिप प्रोग्राम्स इन क्रिटिकल केयर रीजनल एनस्थीजिया ऑब्स्टेट्रिक न्यूरो कार्डियक पीडियाट्रिक Sometimes they can be six months also. Even there are opportunities abroad to do fellowships in Europe and Canada. Regarding uh, career options abroad, there is there are shortage of anesthesiologists in Australia, UK, Middle East countries, and anesthesiologists are better absorbed than other branches. This always a shortage. Regarding the work scope and earning, so freelancing. First thing, you know you're on your toes always during freelancing. It's a easy life. Earnings will be much more than corporate and. Uh, government jobs but you have to be available for all the cases it's the surgeons who will call you and it has depends on your availability so this is what makes it a dependent branch you have to be available government job post pg 3 years sr ship and then you can become ap lecturer the job is convenient the higher you go less of ot work more of uh, responsibility and administrative work. corporate jobs decently paid adequate work is there but it may be busy as workload is more challenging work and uh, high risk cases may be there administrative jobs nscs are people are well suited because they have acquired the skills of quick decision making during the critical job experience so you will find lot of nscs are people in the administrative jobs you can also get into research and teaching uh, so you can start opd as general practitioners and can also practice as pain physicians who should not take anesthesia aspirants or students who are looking for opd based practice dermatology medicine pediatric psychiatry and the surgically inclined surgery orthopedics obs gynae ent of that should not pick up anesthesia who should pick up anesthesia aspirants and students with a medicine type of thinking who like hospital based jobs who want a decent work life balance also people who are interested in critical care the ones who see themselves as working as pain physicians they are the ones who should opt up for anesthesia this is not a boring branch or a stressful branch as you might think right you might also think that you will get less credit but it's not the case you also think that there is no patient interaction but that's not the case I say, as I said before, also the basic problem in general is because there is less awareness about the branch. Don't compare yourself with other branches. No branch is complete. All the branches are good if you are sincere and you work with interest and dedication. All I can say is that this branch will provide you with immense job satisfaction in terms of clinical work that you're doing, and you will have a good work-life balance and a decent pay. All right. Uh, remember, as of today, there is no scarcity of jobs, whether in India or abroad. and it is not a saturated branch like many other mainstream branches last i would like to say a take home message it may be the patient's relatives interaction that is missing and not the patient interaction and second thing is regarding dependency that all branches are dependent on something or the other so choose wisely and be happy be sincere that's the way to go forward thank you